Hello everyone and welcome. It's Tuesday. Time for beginner's guide discovery mode. So yesterday we played with Samia in constructed with starter deck. It's time to play with Samia but every deck is different. But before we do that, again, let me step back if you didn't watch yesterday. Guys, new additions, new small screens, Skyway Championship this Saturday. I'm super pumped. Also, I'm going to be casting this event. Super excited. So, yeah, I don't think we need to delay this any longer. Let's quickly transform into my Samia cosplay and let's play some games. That's right. Transformation complete. One second change. That's what we do here on the channel. Welcome everyone. What do you guys think? Do I, do I look good as Samia? I hope so. I hope so. Welcome everyone. Welcome. Alright, time for some discovery games, shall we? So, a week ago we managed to win some games, but we didn't reach the recruit rank yet. We are still on the Wanderer level, so let's quickly go to the recruit level. Alright, welcome on Twitch chat. Welcome Fa, welcome Hollow. How are you guys? Alright, let me sign into my sequence wallet. Hopefully we can find an opponent quickly. No! Why is the outdated client bug? No, 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 no. Let me quickly restart the client. I guess there is some hot patch that was uploaded just now. Let me try again. Hopefully it will work now. Please, devs, work with me. All right, no error this time. Let's go. Let me see if I can find opponent quickly. Hmm. Hmm. Hello with the early jokes in the Twitch chat. I appreciate them, Holo, but I'm not sure if I can say them out, out loud for you to video. Good sir, not sure. But guys, if you want to see all of the Holo jokes live, please join me at 3 p.m. Central European time, Monday through Friday. Hmm. All right. It might be a bit tough to find an opponent on Wanderer level for discovery mode, but let's just hope. Let's just hope my my opponents will deliver themselves into me and we can crush them. Yes, we did it. And I guess we are going to do that. Let's literally go into the arena, shall we? That's right. Jogging. Like I'm not scared at all of those two giant dragons or creatures. That's right. All right. Let's fight. Let's fight. Who is going to be our first opponent? It's Zoe, Mr. Crypto to Papa. All right, recruit level, so above above us, but we know what we are doing, right guys? We know what we are doing. All right, time to switch the music from the background to the in-game music. Let's go. All right, what do we have here? So every game is different deck for the discovery mode. So let's see, we have two heavily drawing cards, Burnout and Blitz. But, hmm, so I guess those three, because Uppercut not really early, early use. Strikestorm, I need a lot of banner and I have only Makarai. So I guess Blitz, so I need to get rid of all of the cards and then play Blitz to Take maximum uh, advantage of the effect, return your hand to deck, draw three cards. All right, so when you play these cards, when you have empty hand, you just draw three cards, so that's cool. And Burnout, nah, I'm not taking that. Not amazing opening selection, but not the worst. Let's see what Crypto to Papa from Italy will play on the first turn. If he plays nothing, I'm happy to deploy my Nocturna here on the board with Sunrise effect. Attack the enemy hero. Alright, on Sunrise, yeah, that's cool. 
Also auto attacking bolt on summon. Attack the right most enemy with attached blindness. Okay. Crypto 2 Papa is taking his time. Or hers time, maybe. Who knows? Alright. He played Mekurai. So I guess I'm going to coin both. So I have one banner and I can kill in Mekurai. And my Doctor now can start hitting that, that hero on sunrise with the effect. Alright. Let's do it. And unfortunately I drew another drawing card which is colliding with my blitz here. So that's kind of unfortunate. I have a lot of air cards. A lot of air cards in our deck, but none in uh, none in my hand. So as you can see the effect draw two air cards, give air cards in your hand, minus one cost, but I have no air cards in my hand. Apart from that one. So the value is heavily diminished. Right, my opponent plays Baneful Strike. Now he can... Oh, he can clear the board even with Samia Speed, but uh, that was a bit of a misplay. As you can see, Samia Speed is attaching itself to the hero, and he he had Mana Crystal uh, onto the hero. So he basically wasted one Mana Crystal, so that was uh, not perfect. All right, we have a clean turn. And next we can we drew a a air card so we can make it cheaper with heads in the clouds ne next turn. But we're probably going to give up um, the board control to play this card. But maybe we can regain it later with Hong, as the play effect is your hero attacks target enemy unit with banner. So we can, we, maybe we will be able to clear clear the boards two two turns from now. Let's see. Alright, so my opponent played Cleo, but... Uh, hmm. <laughs> so he decided not to attack my uh, Bolt. Hmm. I guess I'm going to play Heads in the Cloud. I think I have some time. My Bolt survived. Let's make, make my Honk uh, less exp expensive, alright. So now I have additional cheap cards, supersonic for one cost, but we're going to draw a one cost unit outside of the deck because we don't have any one costs. And also Strike Storm, but I guess Strike Storm work with Hong, but it's gonna be tough to make a very good value from Strike Storm. Alright, my opponent played Cookbook, which gave him Blitz, but he has four cards and Blitz would draw him, I mean, Discard this, I mean not discard, uh, put those cards back into the deck and draw three, so that would be a mistake for sure. So maybe he wanted to get another one cost spell from the hand, from the deck, but he got unlucky. Not sure. Hmm. I need to think what will be my best... Wait, he still have... Oh, and he played Blitz on three cards when we had when he had three cards. Maybe he misread how the Blitz works. Not sure about this. Right, let me see. How about we play Light Border with Shield and the Dash, clear the Royal Mummy, then attack with Ready Unit, and then clear the Cookbook with our uh, with our hero. But what are we going to play on? Uh, two, two mana that we have, have left, so maybe not that, maybe Honk and and Gale in this case will be better. So yeah, let's clear it this way, because we can attack stealth unit with the help of the play effect of Honk. We can clear the Royal Mummy, and we can play Gale, alright? I like this turn m way better. Welcome Euphrat in Twitch chat. What's up Samia man? I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoy my Samia cosplay. All right, we have board control, so we happy.
I, I don't need much from life. I just need bo board control and that's it. And I'm happy. But if I'm not having board control, I am unhappy. So let's say double edged sword for sure. Hmm. Look at this. Strong guy. How about this guy and maybe let's first see what we are going to get. Saber. Wow, this is very good. Now with additional banner and this guy, we can just clear. And yeah, 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 yeah. And with the glory effect of Gale, we can attack with our hero again. Now, even if he, my opponent plays some kind of AOE spell to clear my board, the death effect of Totem will will spread out one cost units throughout the, my board. So I'm not scared. I'm doing fine. All right. My opponent ha ha has a good combo with uh, with disciple of Gastro and uh, Samia Speed. Very strong. Very strong. But but. We have some goodies of ourselves. Hmm. Hmm. So how should we do this? I mean, basically I could spend all of the cards to play Blitz. And I think I'm going to do that, actually. I think that actually I'm going to do this. And yeah, I'm playing Wayne Blade on this guy, because I, I'd rather have him survive longer than my death effect totem. So I can, so I can use that glory effect. All right, let's play this. Um, sure, sure. And blitz effect finally in the works. And I I got some very good cards, high cost, so I'm not going to run out of. No, I'm. I played too quickly. I played too quickly, guys. Can you spot my mistake? What was? Think for yourself for a second. What was my misplay? My misplay was that I didn't use the Gale glory effect. I should first attack with my hero, then with Gale, and then with my hero again. So, guys, I hope you spotted it. Not cool, not cool. But hey, it is what it is. I think it's time for our Wookiee Scraper and Gale with this his glory effect will be amazing. Look at this effect. After your hero attacks then an enemy this unit attacks. After your hero attacks an enemy this unit attacks that enemy. So look at this. I can basically attack with sleeping unit twice. Look at this guys. Look at this. Boom. And boom. I got Constructed deck in discovery. Look at this interaction. Look at this synergy. Wow, that was nasty. That was nasty. Man, if I can get such a deck in discovery mode every time, that's gonna be easy peasy climb in the leaderboards. All right, we unlocked an agility card, Riptide for cost, glory effect, add twin mana crystal to your hand. All right, very cool. Very cool. Right back to our background music. It's not time yet for our trip to the uh, to the mountain, guys, to the edge of the sky. We still need to reach that recruit level. So bear with me. Bear with me. All right. Hopefully, the last game on the Wanderer rank. Let's see. Let's see who are we going to be up against this time. Alright, guys, see, I hope you watched yesterday uh, video or yesterday stream about the beginner's guide constructed mode. We transformed into Samia from high, high areas in the sky over the world. If you didn't watch it, I recommend it. I made a... Uh, how, how is it called? Trustful? And I trusted that I will not damage myself from the Trustful. And I gained this superpowers, the Samia, Samia powers. All right. Come, come on, Mr. Papa from Italy. I don't mind playing against you again. I don't mind. 
Actually, he was from uh, from recruit lang rank, so it might be a bit longer to to match uh, with him because matchmaker in this game works. That matchmaker try try to uh, tries to match uh, the player that is similar strength to you. So if I'm on wanderer rank, the matchmaker first trying to match against other wanderer level player, but. If, for example, I'm not sure, I, I talked to the devs, but I'm not sure if I recall this correctly. For example, if for 30 seconds you cannot fight an opponent in your rank, then matchmaker looks further, looks for rank down or above you. So maybe the 30 seconds period needs to pass and then I can find someone in the recruit, uh, recruit rank or maybe even apprentice rank. Let's see. So let's be patient. Let's wait for the matchmaker to do its job. And we can chill we can chill a bit. We can drink our water. Maybe do a little ASMR. I don't know if you guys into it. Alright. So who do we have here as the live channel streaming? So there's me. There is Dark Knight from the, I believe, uh, Brazilian or Portuguese. Uh, I guess BR is is uh, Brazil. Then we have Mark It's OASM. Not sure how to read that correctly. I believe this is a well-known member of the community, Robrigado, but I might be mistaken. And we have a new streamer. I don't recognize his name. Clo Ofodin. All right. All right. Very cool. Very cool segment here, live channels for the for the Twitch streamers. All right. It seems that Matchmaker is having a hard time finding an opponent. So let's just take a tour. So what what we have here at the game mode? So we have ranked right now that we can play construct and discovery. We have conquest mode that we are going to be playing tomorrow at our advanced uh, guide. Uh, practice when you can just practice uh, versus the bot without the the rank uh, rank ladder. We have private. This is actually a very cool feature. So you can play with your friend. Just input any any uh, any string that you want. Doesn't matter. Copy it to your friend. He will pass it here, and you can queue into each other. So you can trade that way with your friend. It's very cool. You can test your decks on play in discovery mode. Also, it's very useful in the tournament scene. When you have uh, when you have to uh, match against certain opponent, very nice, very nice uh, game mode, and also tutorial. You probably guys finished it already, but you can replay it if you want. You can see you can pick earlier even if you finish the whole thing. All right, so let's see what uh, gold cards we can win this week in uh, conquest mode. We have a Dark Adept, free cost, from uh, Heart Prism. Uh, after another ally unit dies, conjure and attach your lowest cost Dark spell to this unit, alright? My opponent actually played this card, that game that we played, right? We were able to kill him with our double banner and the shielded, shielded one cost, I believe. Also we have Hive from Intellect, Sunset Effect, Summon B unit, alright, very cool. Crystal Cash, the strength drawing spell with banner. Draw a metal spell and the unit. Give them minus one cost, alright? And a very useful orchid spell in Wisdom Prism. Very heavily used in the in the conquest actually. Give units in your hand pl plus one plus one and spells minus one cost. Gain one mana next turn. Alright, very cool, very cool. All right, let's go back to our ranked view. I'm going to give the matchmaker a few more minutes and then maybe we'll uh, play against the bot to, f uh, to wait. Maybe someone uh, will queue up against us uh, after we play with the bot, but still we'll patient here. Let's wait another minute or so. Let's check out who is the best in ranked mode for now. So we're playing Discovery, so let's check out Discovery first. All right. So the first player, first Grand Weaver, so the best in the ladder right now is Mr. Kuromu with the 66% win rate and 
18 and 70 ELO with the 83 game. Only 83 games, all right. Next is X Bow from uh, from China, all right. And then Gizami Bichu, all right. Very cool, very cool. Top three, and top three in constructed. Let's see. Fan Li from China, Xiaoyu from China, and also Gizami Bichu. So. Look at this, in both modes, Mr. Gizami, Giza Pichu is a third, very well done, from him. Alright. And just the perfect timing, let's go to the arena for our second match. Alright, let me stroll back, stroll to the arena, alright, I'm wobbling a bit. But I hope I won't fall, alright? This ledge is quite narrow. Alright. Let's... Let's fight! Let's do this! Who are we up against? Against Crypto 2 Papa again! Our friend from Recruit rank. This time he chose Mira, alright? Let's do it. Let's play against Mira. All right, a lot of units to choose from. Also, let me switch the music. All right, we're going second. So, um, do I want Spitzer? I could play Puppet String to pull out one of his units, and I hope it's not going to be Axolotl though, because it's zero one, because it has effect on Summon. Um, hmm. I mean, maybe we can, uh, if he plays a unit, we can regain, I mean, not regain, gain board control. And what else? What else? Maybe chomp. Maybe chomp when we have board control. That would be cool. Let's see. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Welcome Kakrista in the Twitch chat. Uh, he asks, you know when expansion coming? Um, nope. Of official uh, official date for Hexbound uh, Invasion is not yet known, so I'm not part of the dev team, so unfortunately I don't know. But if I when I know, I will let you let you know also, Krista here on the stream. All right. Unfortunately, he played three health uh, units that have stealth, so I won't be able to kill it with my speedster. But still, I'm going for that plan. All right. Weep vine, that's cool, that's cool. Alright. Let's do this. I'm hitting this guy because I really want to gain that board control. But he has a uh, close wipe though on uh, free mana. He can coin and basically clear the board also with his hero, the one remaining Weep Vine 1 1 when he plays the spell. Let's see if he chooses to, to play that. Well, he probably will, yep. Very well done. But now at least our uh, our opponent's earwig is rooted. So that's will that will probably slow him down, I hope. I hope. All right, let me see. Actually, I'm a bit afraid of shrink ray. When he plays shrink ray, he'll be able to kill me with his, uh, with his hero, so maybe I'm going to just straight up play Chomp. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let me just play Chomp here. Let's see what he's going to do. Also, next turn I can play Mana Crystal and Flock, and if, he, if he's not able to deal with my board, I can get my birdies more alive with Ember Mask and give them all one one attack power. He decided to unroot himself, alright. So he spent three mana to unroot. That's costly, but maybe that was the best play. I'm not I don't know his entire hand. All the cards he holds, so I cannot be sure. But yeah, this So he played AoE spell which is close wipe, so maybe he doesn't have another AoE, so my Flock maybe will be able to survive. Let's see. I don't think he has any zero cost cards, so... So please, please, Mr. Crypto 2 Papa, end your turn.
Hmm. Hmm. Maybe he's busy or something. I don't know. Maybe he's intimidating me. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right. Let's continue with our plan. Let's go, birdies. And five attack on my hero. Let's go. Okay. But I really need to draw like some two cost cards so I can be mana efficient and can and, and play Ember Mask and something else because now if I play this I won't have enough mana to play anything else. So let's see. Okay, he's thinking. He's thinking, let's see. He's taking his time as he should. Alright. Hoplite on the board with Lily. And look at this draw. Look at this magnificent draw. What I said, what I need. Two cost card. Whoa. Whoa. Now that is cool. Now that is cool, ladies and gentlemen. And I can clear the board. And my birdies came alive. Then they can attack now with one attack. Okay. It looking good. Looking. I mean, if he plays some kind of AOE, then I'm in trouble. But he already played one. So maybe I'm safe. Maybe. I mean, Intellect Prism has a lot of uh, AOE spells. But we'll see. We'll see. We just, if we win this game, we are ranking up to recruit level. Let's see. Can we do it? Can we do this? Alright. He played Frost Maiden with the Inspire Water effect. Do one damage to the lowest health enemy unit and attach Frostbite to it. But he has nothing else. Ooh. Ooh. Me likey. So what should I do? What should I do here? I mean, I if I want to play the uh, the attached spell Viper Ambush, I I only will uh, summon one Viper because I have no I will have no more space on the board. So maybe I'm just going to use this and just uh, uh, make my opponent's units more expensive and then just attack phase. Yeah, let's do that. Let's hold off with Viper Clash and maybe Snap Trap on some kind of guarded unit to deliver deliver lethal but he had only one unit in hand which is Mem mercurial mimic okay so he have a, a lot of spells so he might have something to kill all of my guys like mass confuse or something like that let's see but i'm only five damage away to ranking up to recruit level let's go Hmm. He might not have mass confused because he would probably play it at that po at this point. But let's see. So far, my discovery decks were pretty good, but that two cost zero was very lucky. And he's decided to play Primal Clash, but it's very. RNG heavy card, look at this. Draw and summon a unit, give it dash. The enemy draws and summon a unit, give it guard. And yeah, that's basically over. GG, Crypto to Papa. I hope we can play some more in the recruit level. We did it! We did it, guys! We reached recruit in discovery mode. Let's go. We probably rank up some more in the experience side of business so we probably unlock some cards let's see that's right three agility cards plane ranger five cost after and the enemy plays a spell do two damage to their hero Ooh, so it's cool against heavy spells prisms like like intellect and wisdom right cool rave to cost with banner give all uh, all ally 
all, ex excuse me, give all units plus one, minus one, all right, cool. And focus for Oni with armor, the glory effects of all units triggered twice. Ooh, so that's very good with fury enchants. Nice. Nice. All right. But I believe now it's time to visit our favorite mountain. Let's go together to the edge of the sky. New day with the new tips and tricks from the edge of the sky with beautiful views. So, first tip of the day, don't spend mana crystals without good reason. Guys, if you're playing as a first player, you have two mana crystals to spend. And spend them wisely. Don't rush things with spending both mana crystals on turn one and play free cost unit and then when the unit is removed with the spell by the opponent, you have nothing to play on the second turn. Guys, please be smart about this because mana crystals are very good for flexibility so you can do different things, different turn, you can answer uh, your opponent's units better. So please, be wise about it, don't rush with spending your mana crystals. That's the first step, let's go back to the games. All right, all right, that's pretty straightforward. So guys, do not waste your mana crystals, all right? Do not waste them. They are very... So you remember, my opponent, the first game, I believe, he overrides with Samia Speed his own mana crystal that was attached to his hero, and he basically wasted it. Don't do this. Use them with respect, all right? So we ranked up, we are on the recruit level now, and we are fighting to rank up to apprentice level and appear on the lead on the leaderboards but because as you can see the leaderboards displaying the lowest the lowest level that leaderboard is displaying is the apprentice level so when we can when we reach uh, the apprentice level we can find ourselves on the leaderboard ooh and we quickly found the game so let's run to the arena together let's go all right, this time from the left upper corner. All right, let's go. Uh, this running is actually quite tiring, but that's that's what we do here. All right, let's go. Again against Crypto to Papa this time. So he's trying out all the prisms. That's cool. That's nice. All right, and he's playing Axel this time. Let's see if we can destroy this Axel. Let's see. Right, let me switch the music. Right. So this time we have only two units. I guess three because Puppet Strings is basically a unit. So let's pick that as our first turn. From Cookbook we can summon a one cost spell, which is a Frost Claw, 100% Frost Claw. All right. What else? We have Run Wild, which gives us Nocturnal Chain Golem with ready if we have Fire uh, card in our hand. So let's pick those. And you know what? Let me take Cookbook. I don't. Raise the Banners is good in Constructed, but in Discovery is very bad because of multi elemental aspect of the, of the randomness. So this is not very good. Montage, Mech, Catch is super expensive, and Speed Boots. Also very difficult to use good in discovery, so so let, let's pick those. Let's see what we're getting from the Axel. Alright, Crypto, so we're gonna get from the death effect another unit with death effect from our deck. So it might be Chain Golem. Do we have any other with death effect? No, so it's going to be 100% Chain Golem, if I'm not mistaken. All right, cool, cool, cool. So I suspect my opponent will play Opal Golem. And he also picked Kenny Mask, all right. Interesting choice. All right. Opal, Opal Golem on the board. But I think I'm gonna play my run wild let's see yeah run wild and it's going to be chain golem now 100% so I can kill this guy without loss of any any health of any unit because of the armor of chain golem alright let's do this 
So yeah, guys, you know, I have board control, so I'm happy. Let's go. Ooh, all right. Wait, he can clear the board with the attached spell. Deep slice on my armored unit. Wow, what a good turn. Well done. But also I got very lucky with the with uh, the crypto death effect. I got bannered unit. So I can now play my songwriter and kill the scythe with my hero. So very nice because b before that I didn't have any banner, banner card. So that was uh, very nice to get it out of deck from crypto. But his turn was very good, very nice. Well done, Crypto to Papa. Alright. But I'm not going to let you just keep your board control, no sir. It's mine. It's mine. Alright, we drew drum up. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about this. I don't think I can get to this guy. Or can I? I don't see how could I do that. Actually, you know what? I can. Wait, can I? Can I? I can. Look at this, guys. Look at this plan. How to how to get to this? Look at this mysterious plan. What I need is bolt to hit the. Look at this. I plant everything precisely to get this little little guy. Look at this. Because I will. I had. As we saw on the Mulligan that Frostclaw is 100% from Cookbook. What do you guys think about that play to clear the board? I like it, I like it. I couldn't figure out the play with their Devil Pine that would be good enough. Mm -hmm. Me gusta. It was very good, good puzzle how to how to destroy the fa the fan guy and there. <clears throat> okay, my opponent's drawing two one cost cards out of deck. Bad dreams, not bad, not bad. Rendering my my songbird and cookbook almost useless. Very well done. So I guess it's time for Mr. There, the Vulpine. All right. I have another fire card in my hand. So if my attachment and there, the Vulpine survive, I can play Run Wild and get my opponent. I I mean get my unit ready, but I'm going to lose one health from out of deck drawing because I no longer have any. To cost units. Also, look at this mighty steed. Such a such a nice strong card. Your hero has armor and banner. Very cool. Very hard to kill unit. Okay. My opponent played Olympia. Ooh, ooh, a lot of units. All right. Cool. 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 Ooh, now very good job because now I can play Run Wild, Nocturna, and Speedster on ready. So let's do it. Give me something good. Ooh. Void Knight with Grim Reprisal attached. Okay, I'm definitely utilizing that. Give me, give me. Yes, sir. Alright, let's play Nocturna. Alright, 
We're unable to clear the full board, but that's okay. That's okay. We can play this combo next. Mighty Steed plus, plus Speedster. I wonder what light card he wanted to draw from, from the shade. Okay, he proceeds to play Miranda, Miranda plus School of Fish. All right. Sunrise effect. Thank you, Nocturna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking of playing Speedster now and Supercharge on 6. Um, or do I want this? But he might clear the board. But actually, uh, I might have to later draw, drum, uh, play Drum Up with 3 units with uh, Anima. So actually, that will be the better combo. And I have units with Anima and to pop all of the Anima with Supercharge, yeah. So I'm not, I'm not playing Supercharge now, I'm saving it. I am saving it. All right, let's see what we can do. What we can do. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let me do this, I suppose. I want to clear the board for sure. All right. Let me do it this way. Okay, Mr. Crypto, you can kill those four units, but leave my mighty steed alone, okay? Leave my beautiful steed alone. Look at him, being almighty. Very cool art. All right, he's drawing, let's see what. Maybe he's trying to... Ooh, hex doll, that's cool. Or maybe not cool. I will have to play Supercharge now to, uh, to get my hex out of my out of my mighty steed. So I'm not be able to. But if I play this, I don't. I I cannot play anything else. But I don't want my steed to die. That would be silly, right? Hmm. What to do? What to do? I don't want you to die, Steed. Alright. Actually, wait, I can just kill off one of my units. And now, I will be able to play other cards. So let's do that. Let's kill those guys. And let's just do six damage from clapback. Look at this. Bang, bang, bang. Damn. That must have hurt. That must have hurt. Only six more damage to go. And we have also four damage from our hand. Nice burn damage with catch. So it's going to be tough for Crypto to Papa to recover from this. Twist and turn, Hail Mary, ooh, but yeah, it's not guarded unit, so that's it. Good game, Mr. Crypto to Papa. It was fun. GG, all right. So we won our first game of the recruit rank, that's uh, very nice. Okay, we rank up, so maybe we got, yep, we got another unlocked agility card. Chain Lasher. With guard, summon effect, attach chains to all other units, gain plus one power for each chains attached to this way. Very nice, very cool. Okay. So, yep, let's continue and let's put on some background music. I really like this song, it's so chill. So chill. Alright, we're doing good. 
So far we played three or four games. I think only three, right? So we've played three games and won all three against Crypto to Papa. Let's go. I think uh, Samia is quite strong in discovery mode. Very cool cards. Also, somehow I, I did not run out of cards yet. Samia sometimes struggle with cards, but so far, so good. I was able to kill fast enough my opponents to, to not care about uh, my amount of uh, number of cards. All right, we found an opponent. Let's go to the arena. Let's go to the arena. Look at me strolling down there. From the audience spot all the way to the arena. Let's go. Let's, let's fight. It's Crypto to Papa again. And this time he's playing City. So I, I, so I believe he's just playing with random hero. You can choose a random option as a, pre as a as a hero so every game you're playing with randomized hero that's very cool all right let's switch the music okay let's see don't have any two costs hmm let's play viper charmer Zapeta, Talonius, summon. If any, an enemy has stealth, gain one, plus one, plus two, and guard. All right. Intellect has a bunch of stealth units. Heart also have some. So let's take this guy. We rarely lower health than our opponent, so I'm not taking Epic Eagle. Um, and what? Maybe. Maybe Grim Appraisal? Yep. All right, I'm good. I'm good. Let's see. Our new deck has a bunch of air cards again. We've had in the clouds also to make them cheaper and draw them. All right, good that we have our Grim Appraisal to remove this guy. Actually, I'm not going to play anything else this turn, so I'm going to spend a... Oh, hmm. But this might be useful later. Okay, never mind. I'm spending gr gr Grim Reprisal. Never mind. I'm keeping my Rave. I like that Crypto to Papa is not playing instantly. He's taking his time to to weigh on his options. That's what you should do too. You have a lot of time on the timer, so you can just think on the proper play. Excuse me, can I get my Grim Reprisal back? <laughs> All right, but I guess I can just kill him with Rave and my hero. Mm, so yeah, just do that and develop one unit. All right. So he, from the effect of uh, Scarabot, which is the effect, discard two units from your deck, return your top high co higher highest cost dead unit to hand. And he got back Sapphire. He cannot play it yet. It's five cost. All right. Okay, fun guy on the board. Ooh, but I'm going to get that little guy anyway. Mister. I will get him anyway. So, hmm. Actually, let's use the summon effect of Talonius. Because he played Wing Construct, and let's buff my little guy. And I don't want to sacrifice my Mechari. I'm not ready for, for that. Let's just take 3 lifesteal damage and keep our unit on the board. 
As you know, I love board control, so... More units, the better for me. Ooh, subjugate. So my bu buffing of my Talonius... Well, it's like didn't happen. Now it's only one attack, but still. Mm. Alright, let's play Zapeta. Draw something nice. Ooh. I could play Erun, but I will, I will keep this. I don't see point of playing Erun on any of my units now. So... Maybe it will be useful on playing it on the enemy to silence a death effect, for example. Okay, Micro Swarm. Let's see what else. And Flame Sword. Mm, I don't know about this one. Cannot heal himself. With flame sword with the dash drone, yeah, that was not very impressive turn from from my opponent. Um, so let's just play a big guy. Let's clear the board as we often do, and look at this hidden monstrosity. Very nice. Look at this background, that scary background with some hands. And some weird skulls in the background. Can you see this? Oh, very nice. Alright. Alright, only this is a dark card. So, I guess I'm gonna play this, but I'm buffing who? I guess I'm gonna deal one damage from this and one damage to Talonius. So, let's buff my Mekurai. All right, so let's do that. And hmm, do I? I don't think I want to overextend. So maybe I'm just gonna play Turbo Boost. And yeah, from this guy I'm getting Speed Boost though, so I'm keeping this guy. So let's play Viper Charmer. With a nice death effect. So if my opponents play some kind of a AOE. Uh, the Viper Charmer will bring one Viper, Summon Viper, on the death effect. Alright, he was able to get to my Scythe Mantis. But still... Mm. So I have Speed's Boot now. Can Do I have Lethal here? So I could activate this guy. I have three, four, uh, two, three, four. It would be seven, eight with banner. Uh, so yeah, that's not that's not good. Can't place. Yeah, that's not going to work. So what's the best way to approach this? I guess I'm just gonna put. Do this and play another banner unit. All right, and yeah, that's gonna be tough for me. Even if he plays some kind of guards, I have chain lasher that we actually unlocked not long ago. The cool summon effect. All right. Ooh, but my righteous actually uh, badly interacted with. Uh, with Viper Charmer. So the Righteous effect is when another unit would die or a spell or a unit would enter a grave dusted instead. And yep, my death effect of Viper Charmer did not happen and I have no no Viper on the board. Sad. But we can just play Speed Boots. Sorry for prolonging this game, Mr. Crypto to Papa. And yep, that's it. So good game, good game. We have a new chatter in Twitch chat. Welcome to Strywire. Hi, I'm from Malaysia. How are you doing, bro? I'm doing very well. Welcome 
Welcome, sir. So I'm doing today a Samia cosplay. I hope you like it. And of course, I'm playing with Samia on the Discovery. Also, I'm recording this for YouTube. Uh, all right. So let's actually no. Let's let's uh, let's uh, take a trip. All right. Let's uh, showcase the mountain, the edge of the sky for our new viewer. Let's go to the second tip of the day. Second tip of the day, never, 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 ever use offensive spells early on your opponent's hero. Guys, we're talking about discovery here. In Constructed, there are maybe few hyper-aggressive decks that can do it to be mana efficient, but in discovery, no way. Even if you have nothing else to play, you have no units in your hand, only spells that target your opponent's hero, don't use them. Save them, trust me, it will be way better this way. So that's for the second tip, let's go back to the games. Alright guys, so remember, never ever 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 <laughs> play a spell, aggressive spell early on the opponent's hero. Um, I mean, of course, if you have to... Uh, for example, disable a... U so let's say uh, your opponent plays a unit with stealth on the first turn. Then of course you can play an aggressive uh, spell on the that can target the hero to disable the stealth of the unit so you can attack it with your hero, right? But if, you, if your opponent doesn't have any units on the board, don't use uh, your spells on the hero early because it's, it's just a waste. And also, thank you so much to Dark Knight. Welcome, buddy. Thank you for the raid. And welcome to the stream. All right, so let's go for another discovery game. So so far we played four games and four wins. That's a very nice. All right, let's see if we can win a uh, five in a row. Let's go. Hopefully, Crypto Two Papa is not uh, not angry with me that I'm I'm giving him hard time here on the ladder. It's probably not a great experience that he he's playing against an a, a actually experienced opponent as as I am, right? Because I'm playing this game for over a year now. Uh, so fingers crossed that he's not mad at me and he'll continue to try and improve and play. Mr. Strywire in Twitch chat says, "I'm new in Skyweaver. I always use Wisdom Starter for my deck. Is it okay? Of course, of course. I mean, you can try out uh, other stuff." Uh, but wisdom is quite good in this uh, in uh, in the game, so of course, it's absolutely okay. So, um, Strywire. So we are doing every day something different. Yesterday I was doing a, a constructed beginner's guide. Today I'm doing discovery beginner's guide, and uh, it's always starting at 3 p.m. Central European time. Tomorrow I'm doing an advanced uh, guide in Conquest. I'm going to be playing Conquest and showcasing two decks. At Thursday, I'm going to be doing some puzzles from Cytus, the puzzle maker. And uh, Friday, we're just uh, chilling a bit. It's it's almost the weekend, so we're just uh, creating a funny Mimi decks and playing against uh, the viewers. So if you want to play against me, for example, on the stream, you can join me on the stream uh, this Friday, and we can uh, and we can play. And if you win, you're gonna get awarded the silver card for that effort. So so join me if you want. All right, I I see that Crypto to Papa from Italy had enough of me, and he decided to maybe not play against me this time. Let's see if we can find another opponent. Hmm. If not, we can all always play some games against the bot. Let's see if the bot is strong or not. I'm not sure, to be honest. So we showcase showcase today the rank leaderboards. As you can see, you can win also some free rewards when you reach, uh, for example, ma even master level gives you some uh, conquest uh, tickets to to play in in conquest mode. I believe even on. Ooh, we found a game. Even on Profit, look guys, even on Profit you can win some, some conquest tickets, so that's cool. We found an opponent, so let's run into the arena. Let's go. 
This is a long run, guys. Long run. Damn, I... I'm close to fall. Oh, wait. Oh, I need to adjust my course. Okay. All right. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run like a wind. And let's fight against this time. It's Horik. Arkai on line one. So no longer against our friend from Italy. This time, Horik. All right. Let's switch the music to the in-game one. And let's see. Let's see what we can... Ooh. I believe he's higher rated on a higher rank this might be a even scholar level badge or is it apprentice i'm actually not sure all right let's see let's see so no two cost units no at one cost units hmm a lot of air cards though so how about we take all air does it make any sense but maybe let's take anointing flame as a defense so on our second turn we're going to play, uh, oh, I, I, I mean on our first turn because we're going second, we ha we'll have two mana, let's play this as defense and then coin heads in a cloud and give all of those cards minus one cost. Maybe this is going to be good synergy, we'll, we'll see. Uh, Mr. Strywire says, wow, that's great. I always search a video on YouTube how to play this game, actually. <laughs> this game seems fun to play, because in Malaysia there is only a few pe uh, people play this game. Yeah, I mean, this game is super fun. I'm playing this game myself for a few, uh, few, few years now. Uh, not few years, like a year and a couple of months. Uh, and I absolutely love it. I'm playing this game practically every day. So I really, really recommend it. Alright, should we... So, I don't want to play Anoint in Flame on my hero, because we can do that and give my hero banner. But, um, I'm going to just um, dust my mana crystal, so that's not really, really cool. So, should I play Righteous or Gale? I guess I'm going to play Righteous because it's not an air unit. And maybe in the future we'll be able to play uh, Head in the Clouds and make our Gale cheaper. So, let's see. So that was actually a lucky draw because my opponent didn't play anything on turn one, so we we didn't have an opportunity to play Anointed Flame. Mm, okay. Ooh, but look at this anti-synergy for him. So look at this righteous effect. When another unit would die or a spell or unit would enter a grave, dust it instead. So that death effect will not take place. So that's what that was not a good play for my for 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 my opponent. I will just put banner on my hero. As you can see, I'm completely don't care about my health at the beginning of the game. I'm just using it as a resource to gain board control. My righteous is still on four health. I didn't have to use him on burning on on brimstone. And I drew another air unit. Look, all of my cards in discovery now are air from from air elements so now hands in the cloud is super powerful it's it looks like it looks like a constructed de deck right now constructed game because of my hand but it's actually discovery very cool very lucky lucky random hand and i'm not going to spend two mana to to get the flames out of my hero because still it's slow I have to I have to pay two mana. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna keep my flames as long as long as I'm not in the uh, danger to die. I'm just going uh, to to try to kill my opponent as fast as possible. All right, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm I'm not want I'm not caring about my health. Okay, so he he spent mortal blow four cost four cost card against my free cost card so that's not a very good trade and i'm going to play now so look he played a very strong uh, killing card destroy target unit on the free costs and now i'm going to play very very annoying very annoying queen of jacks with the effect after an enemy plays a unit summon yellow jack so if you if you cannot deal with this with a spell you have a hard time let's see and look at all those cheaper air cards that will give me momentum to maybe win the game. Let's see if my opponent can deal with Queen of Jacks somehow.
and he he decides not to play anything. So maybe this time I will not overextend because he might have some nasty AoE spell like Burning Aid or something like this. So I don't want to overextend. So I'm just going to um, let's see, play what? Let's just play one unit. Try draw. Let's go. And just chill. Okay, as you can see, I totally do not care about the flames. I'd rather spend my mana on other things and expand my board control than spend two mana on, on my hero health. It's dangerous, you have to be careful with it, but uh, that's probably the right, right play. Alright, Toil and Trouble. Let's see what's next. Okay. Ooh, and he took nine. Wow, that was brave. That was very brave. So, let's see if he can... If he can... Okay, you can see how the effect of Queen of Jacks works. But that's it. I believe we have lethal on board. And we did it. So as you can see, I was playing with flames on my hero the whole game. And I was right. We won the game. We didn't have to care about the flames. All right, I unlocked another agility card, the Hunter Row with stealth and play effect attach silence to a target enemy unit do one damage to it all right all right that's cool that's cool let's go back to our background music let's cue another game all right another win let's go but i believe on this stream we won't be able to uh, reach the apprentice rank but maybe next week probably next week at uh, on tuesday will be able to reach this, I believe. I believe! But we have still some time today for a few games. So let's enjoy them, all right? Ooh, look at this, I am a soul streamer now. Mr. St Strywire in the Twitch just says, just like that. Uh, that's how you win the game. I hope I can play it like you do one day. I mean, of course! Just, uh, just watch, uh, watch me and other streamers and other good players, and I'm sure you're going to be as good as me or even better. And thank you for for joining the stream and chatting with me. I appreciate appreciate you a lot. And uh, and regards from Poland. So I'm I'm living in Poland. You said that you're from Malaysia. Very nice to meet you, sir. I love to connect to the uh, to the different cultures and part of the world. So nice to have you here, sir. All right, let's see if we can. Ooh, and we found another game already. So let's run into the arena. Let's go. Let's charge into our opponent. This time from upper right corner. All right, let's go. Those two dragons are intimidating, but I'm not scared. Let's go. And we're fighting this time against... I believe we played against this opponent yesterday, maybe, in the constructed... Constructed uh, scene? That, because I, I remember him because I was afraid of Miss... Miss... Uh, miss... Uh, sp mm, about butchering his name. And yeah, I remember he had the axolotl picture. Yeah, that's definitely... Uh, that person, alright. Let's switch the music to the in-game music. Alright, he's playing uh, Titus, okay. Let's see, we're going second. We have a bunch of Tukas units, so let's play Shredder as a removal, basically, of, of, of the opponent unit. Or maybe he's going to play some one attack wisdom unit, so we can, uh, at, uh, we can kill that unit and have my Shredder survive. What else, what else? I don't have much banner, so I'm not picking Mountain Lion. Let's go for Talonius. Um, Nocturna and maybe Drillbot? Sure, why not? I like those. Mr. Sky uh, Strywire says, nice to know you too, sir. Hope God bless you and your family, sir. Same to you. Thank you so much. All right. 
Hmm. Unfortunately, my shredder is one attack too little to deal with this guy. Hmm. So let's try to play Nocturnus for now. Maybe he will damage it and himself, and then I can kill him with Noc Nocturn uh, with uh, Shredder next turn. Let's see. But if he will deploy some uh, some unit or spell with Banner, then he can kill my Nocturna with his own hero. So that would be unfortunate. Let's see. And he does exactly that, but him. I think I believe that is a mistake. I believe, and look at this cool sunrise effect, attack the enemy hero. So I believe he should attack my hero with Halcyon, but kill my uh, Nocturna with his hero. He decided to attack my hero, which is, I believe, a mistake. So let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What can I get from Supersonic? So, something out of deck. So I, I want to play, I really want to clear the whole board. So let's see what I'm going to get from Super Sonic. But this cookbook, it's not that great. Um, but I got Painful Strike though. Hmm. Hmm. That will give me Wither. All right, so let's play that. Okay, let's let's do this, I suppose. Do I want to do this? Nah. I'm keeping it. Maybe he will make a mistake again and not kill my Nocturna. Actually, he doesn't have banner anymore. So he will probably do something like hit my hero with his own hero and kill my cookbook with his Halcyon because he will not lose health that way. But keeping my Nocturna alive is dangerous. I'm going to hit, keep hitting his hero on the sunrise effect, so let's see. Oh, he just hates killing my unit. So, I, I mean, I don't mind, but you guys are aware how I love the board control, so I always try to clear the board. Alright, let's see, let's see, what now? What now? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna play Drillbot and exchange uh, Fundeser with Nocturna. This is what I'm going to do. I want to be mana efficient. This way my, my Drillbot will not lose any health. And let's do this exchange. But Nocturna did a very good job. Very nicely done. But now I'm fully in the board control and feeling confident about this game. Alright. Nico played. What else? What else? Maybe some Aqua Sword on Nico. Let's see. Air Throne. Okay. But I have Supercharge. I have supercharge. I'm I'm not afraid. All right, look at this mana. Wait. Oh, this now supercharge and then shader. I suppose. All right. So let's do that. Uh, let's do this. Let's kill this guy with shader. Okay. Okay. Bunch of zaps. And remember, guys, another uh, really important tip. Don't, when you have zap on your hero face, don't spend it like just, ah, just, I'm gonna zap my opponent's hero. No, because you see, we have a stealth effect here on the, in this game. So it's very, very useful to keep the zap just to unstealth an opponent units or just to be flexible to have that one damage for zero, zero mana because you might need it l er, uh, later. So don't use it like carelessly on the opponent's hero like right now. Why not? No, no, no. Just keep it. Uh, keep it. You might need it. That's my advice to you guys. All right. Let's play Talonius to spend mana. And let's go. You're not really afraid about... Uh, about 
our um, our um, cards because we have blitz, so we can draw more cards. But we don't have any units anymore, so it's kind of meh, meh. Right, our opponent played uh, Sonic Jammer with the summon effect until your next turn all enemy spells and enchants have plus full cost. So you can see all of our uh, spells are now more expensive. Mm, but I can play Honk. How much damage do I have on the board? 5, 8, 9, 10. So not yet enough to deal the lethal. With this, if one more. Hmm. Hmm. What's the best? But with Hog, it's not very good because I have to hit again with my hero. I'm going to just play uppercut. Why not? And just go after him. Yeah. If he plays this enough, I can just play Hurricane on on Telonius and deliver lethal with my guy. Let's see. Okay, we, we're very close to winning uh, another game. All right, his his effect again, but yep. I don't even need to use any any cards. I can just kill the guard with Shader and the level lethal with Talonius and GG. GG, Mister, and we did it. Another game won in the row. So far, we won every game today. Very nice. So last time we actually lost one game uh, in the Wanderer rank against. It might be against Samia, I believe, or something like that. I I don't recall super well, but yeah, we did manage to lose one game. My my opponent was very good, but so far today it's going smooth. And Strywire says, wow, what a great game. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. It went quite smoothly. Quite smoothly. I agree. Very nice. Let's see if we're going to be matched against that little axolotl on the banner image again. I'm not going to try to pronounce that person's name. I'm not very, very good at, uh, at the west side of the world names. I mean, east side, whoa. East side. I mean, from my perspective, east side, yeah. But I guess we're living on a globe that is, you know, circular. So I guess west and east is almost the same because you, because you can reach that side by going any direction. Okay, I'm rambling now, but I guess that's silly. Yeah, why, why the hell are we calling... Asian countries East and American countries I guess from European perspective that makes sense but from America perspective that makes no sense huh yeah I've been rambling sorry guys sorry guys about that uh, off topic I just I just was I was wondering for a bit that person doesn't have to even be from the from the Asian country. I'm not sure. All right. So what were we talking about before the game? So we we were talking about uh, leaderboard rewards. So if you rank even in the profit level, you can win some some conquest tickets. So that's cool. That's very cool. Okay. In constructed and in, uh, in discovery as well. What else? You can uh, check out some decks in deck leaderboard so you can see uh, what decks are good and if you have uh, base cards unlocked you can build them okay i don't have in this account all the cards unlocked yet so i cannot uh, try out different decks from this deck leaderboard but if you do you can just check out this deck tab in the upper right corner and you can try out different decks as you can see this OC Hespera deck is performing very well. It's top one right now. It's a Zoe deck, so heart plus agility prisms. Very nice. 
All right, what else do we have here? All the items, so you can uh, filter all the items in the world, in the in the game, in the worlds too, I suppose. All right, you can filter them through different prisms. You can oh, you can even just uh, pick four and leave intellect or, and you can pick all the combinations that you want. It's very cool. Okay, you can, as you can see, I don't have any silver and gold cards yet. You can check out also the market. So we have a live market here. Uh, why is it unavailable? Oh, it was just loading, all right? So we can check out the market for silver cards and for gold cards. It's very cool that, uh, for example, in different games like Hearthstone, like different card games like Hearthstone, the most popular uh, card game, you can buy cards, but you cannot really sell them, right? But here, because uh, we we use the uh, Polygon blockchain, you can basically buy buy and sell cards there. So that's very very cool. So if you want to build deck quickly and not just uh, rank up and earn your ba base cards, you can just buy silver and gold cards. And when you're done with the deck on with the cards, you can just sell them. So that's that's quite cool. I think that Hearthstone community would love that functionality that you can just buy and sell it's, it's quite interesting all right mr uh stry uh, wire says sir i gotta go it's time to work here nice to know you see you next time god bless you and your family stay safe sir bye all right thank you so much stry wire for joining the stream and yeah good luck at uh, at your work hope you're doing a fine good sir all right, still matchmaker hard at work trying to find the game for me. Let's see what else I can um, check out here. So we checked out the market. We can filter out through uh, the high price and low. Let's see what's the cheapest card right now. All right, water room for 132, All right, cool. How about the most expensive uh, silver card? It's Tiamat's Rage. For 9 cost, it's a strength card. Do 6 damage to target enemy and each enemy next to it. Alright, that's cool. Also, Festival of Cannon is almost that expensive. It's a 6 cost in the Heart Prism. Death effect, do 3 damage to the lowest health enemy. Repeat 2 more times. Alright, alright, very cool. How about gold cards? Alright, the most expensive is Albane for 7 cost mana. Summon effect, do 3 damage to all add all other units right and wow this is quite expensive 71 57 wow it's almost double the second card which is stats all right how about the lowest cost gold card it's 412 for the clone army all right very cool very cool very cool oh and we have also look guys 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 we have we can uh, we can trade also different things like heroes. Look at this. Whoa. Yo, those are nice. Look at this. Look at this stuff. Very pretty. Can I enlarge them? I can. Look at this. So we're playing Samia. And this is like legacy hero Samia. Whoa. That's very cool. So I'm playing with this looking Samia. Let, let, me, let me show you on the deck creation screen. So my hero right now looks like this and look at this upgraded version. Look at this upgraded version. Wowee! That looks neat. Very nice. It kind of reminds me a little bit this mask of Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. And on the, he also had like this weapon that he could bring his opponent closer and yeah it gives me a little bit vibes like that but luckily all right we found we found an opponent let's proceed to the games all right this time against in 1982 uh, i'm wondering if it's his, uh, that person's uh, birth date all right and he's using ada all right let me switch back to the in-game music all right so samia against ada all right Let's see what we have here. 
So I'm from hot dog, when I when I activate the summon effect, I can draw the lowest cost fire spell that we're going to be tur uh, turbo boost. If I'm not going to pick that, or maybe I will. I mean, that opening selection is not very good. I'm kind of afraid for this game. Um, but with this, it's on five mana if I want to play hot dog with the attached spell. It's going to be... Uh -huh, that's... That's dicey, I don't know. Hmm... That that opening selection is is the worst I had this whole day, so I'm afraid. And my opponent played quickly. At least the turbo boost has banner, so I can remove this skitter with my banner. But I am I am scared. And I I draw. So look at the turbo boost, guys. Draw a unit and give it dash. But my hot dog has even ready. But I guess. I guess I don't have a fire card, so the dash somewhat works this way. Okay, let's play another cube junior, another card with banner, the cube junior, with barrier, so he cannot play burn to a crisp and kill my cube junior. Very cool, very cool. Should I play also saber? No, I'm keeping my mana crystal. It might be, might be useful later. All right, my opponent's playing very quickly. Holy, holy, moly! Hmm, I'm scared. I, it seems like he knows what he's doing. Like, like he knows like very well what he's doing. All right, let's use this dash from <laughs> from Turbo Boost because I don't have a fire card. So let's play Ensnare. and let's use Hot Dog and. Kill this team knight. All right. I'm quite scared. I'm not gonna lie. My my opening selection was quite poor, and my opponent is playing quickly, and he knows what he's doing. It seems like he's a good player. So I'm on my toes right now. A bit stressed about this game. I don't want to lose my win streak, and also I don't want to lose in front of you guys. That would be. I don't know. I want to portray myself as superior player, you know, guys, you know how it is. Okay. He was not mana efficient this turn, which... Oh, and look at this, he played a Burn to Crisp, which would be amazing weapon against my Trydra. So let's mess up with my opponent a little bit. You played Burn to Crisp, you would be able to dust my guy. So now, you missed the opportunity, I'm playing my perfect target for the spell that you'll just use. Oh yeah. Oh, welcome John Cakes in the Joe Cake in the Twitch uh, chat. Welcome, sir. He says Puza Legacy Samia. Mm, not not really legacy, but maybe someday we can do a Legacy Samia cosplay. That would be fun. All right, all right. Let's what should we do? I feel like this combo would be good. And yeah, let's do this. I don't want my my Tridra to die yet. So let's just wither down all of those guys. So how should I... So maybe down to two... Hmm. Wait, can I do this? So seven attack. Okay. Um, or maybe I cannot do this efficiently? Maybe I cannot. So let's just clear. And let's get my... I thought I will be able to do this, but I think I cannot now. So let's clear the board this way. I really hope my opponent does not have any AoE. My units are very vulnerable. You need only to attack AoE to clear the, my full board. So I'm quite scared. Oh, Joan is uh, saying how should I pronounce the name? It's Joan Keiki. Alright, good to know. Sorry about that. Welcome to the stream, Joan Keiki. Alright, luckily my opponent did not have any AoE spell. 
That's very good. Very good. Probably I'm going to play Scythe Mantis next. Mm hmm. That is exactly what I'm going to do. Alright, let's kill this Ember Wolf because Strength has a lot of cards that can buff a unit, so I don't want to leave any unit on any turn for Ada to buff it. Alright. Geode. Mm, but I want my... Wait. With this 9-10, I am quite close to actually killing the Ada. You know what? I'm leaving this Geode, and I hope that he doesn't have a Flame Sword. I'm just going after this after this Ada. As I, as I said yesterday, so Ada... Uh, Sami is kind of a... Kind of a... Um, kind of a... Um, hero that at some point you will want to start not caring about the opponent's unit and you just go face because you have a lot of burn damage from your hand and i'm thinking that this is just the time to do that and i'm going just full attack onto onto the opponent let's just use this because all of this is doing burn damage to the face and i'm confident this is the correct way to do this look at this ada is only on free attack and, I, and Card Sling alone does free damage to a target. So, yep, I don't care about any of the uh, guards. And that's it. He didn't have Flame Sword to give Geo the the lifesteal uh, trait. So that's it. That was the correct way to go. So that was the perfect timing to just stop caring about the units, ca stop caring about Geo on the board. And went full ham on Ada's face. That's right. As the saying goes, the face is the place. And there is nothing else to do. Just deliver the killing blow. And that's it. So my... Okay, I, I really liked playing against this opponent. He really knew what he was doing. So that was cool. But now, it's time, guys. Ooh, we unlocked another card, but unfortunately I quickly clicked because it's time for our third trip to the mountain, to the edge of the sky, for the last trick how to play the game. Let's see. Welcome back to the edge of the sky for our third and the final tip of the day. Try out different prisms. So by now you probably played a bunch of Ada. And maybe you tried different prism like Sami or something else, but if you really want to become a world-class player, you need to play with all the prisms. You need to know which prism is very good against which prism. So you know, is Ada good against Samia? Or Samia is good against Ada? You need to know that. You need to get feel what's better, you know? And that's it. So three tips. Don't spend mana crystals without good reason. Never use offensive spells early on your opponent's hero and try out different prisms. Give it a shot. That's it for today's tips. Thank you for climbing with me to the edge of the sky. And let's play some games. All right, so that was the third tip of the day, but we still have some time. So let's fight. I really hope I'm going to play against the same guy because he was really good. And I, I really enjoy playing against uh, good opponents. So let's see if we can uh, queue into him. I hope we can. But he was, I believe he was at apprentice level. So we might it might uh, take a few moments to get the matchmaker to queue above my current rank. Because I'm on a recruit rank. And he was apprentice, I believe. So let's give uh, dear uh, matchmaker a brief moment to find an opponent from the rank above us. Alright, so I was enjoying looking at the legacy heroes, so let's look at them again. They were looking very cool. Alright, so that's my upgraded version. Legacy Samia. To blaze a trail for all those who will follow. That's my legacy. Alright, let's see. Legacy Ada. 
to protect all who call Sky home. That is my legacy. All right, all right. Let's go, go, let's go. Next, Legacy Fox. To live for myself, free of the chains that once bound me. That is my legacy. All right, all right, cool. Let's see next. Legacy Lotus. To preserve the knowledge of this world for future generations. That is my legacy. Oh man. Mm. I lost my voice there for a second. Mm. Okay. Mm. Who's next? Legacy Titus. To protect the wild places of this world and all creatures who call them home. That is my legacy. All right. All right. Legacy Iris. All right. And to learn the lessons of this uh, vast world and find my place within it. Uh, that is my uh, legacy. All right. Who's next? Ooh, Buran. Wait. Wait. No! Couldn't join Q? Outdated client? So maybe the devs deployed another hot uh, hot patch. So let me quickly let me quickly restart uh, restart the client. Hopefully hopefully everything will work out, but let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, please. Please no more errors. No! But but as I remember, Ari once told me, the Mr. Mr. Developer of Horizons, that let me try to find this message. I believe he told me that those errors with the adopted client are very brief. Let me find this message if I can. Uh, from Ari. From Ari, yes. Um. Let me find this. Oh, yes, I found it. Look, look at this, guys. So this should be resolved very soon. So I I messaged that outdated client will restart on both Windows client and Chrome browser, and he messaged me back. When outdated client happens, it means we released a hotfix. This will almost always be resolved by waiting through two, three minutes. All right, guys. And Ari knows his stuff. And guys, by the way, if you didn't join the Skyweaver Discord channel, uh, I really recommend this. A lot of useful information can be found on this Discord. So join, join guys. It's, it's very cool down there. All right, so let's try to... It was like a minute or so. So let's try to restart uh, the client version. And let's see. Welcome, Big Cobra, in the Twitch chat. What I'm watching? You're watching Samia Cosplay, of course. Welcome, sir. Welcome. All right, let's see if the uh, error is resolved. And, like, guys, look! Ari was right, as always. Thank you, Ari, for clarifying uh, that this error will disappear quickly. So, let's wait. Oh, I was actually doing some, some role-playing with legacy skins, so let's go back there. Let's go back there. Actually, let me also change the music. This this song was looping a lot, so let's go for this song this time. All right. I really loved that previous one, but it was looping around and around. Damn, all right. Back to the cosplay. So we stopped uh, legacy, I mean, I was interrupted with legacy Iris, I believe. Uh, to learn the lessons of this vast world and find my place within it. Uh, this is my legacy. All right, Buran, Buran, wait, wait. I'm going. I'm going to figure it out. Uh, wait, guys. No, I'm ruining my cosplay. To maintain the balance of the cycle. It encompasses all. That is my legacy. Alright, that was terrible. But I did my best. My hoodie is way too small and I'm ruining my... I don't even know if you guys could hear me, but I did my best. Okay, who's next? 
Legacy Horik. To overcome the will of fate itself. That is my legacy. Alright. Legacy Zoe. To free the people of this world from tyranny of any cost. Uh, that is my legacy. Alright, that was a bit of Green Goblin role-playing, but I mean, that's a bit like Green Goblin from Spider-Man, right? Right? It gives up this vibe, at least for me. I mean, Green Goblin in Spider-Man had like this, this hoverboard or something. It reminds me a bit of that. Alright. Legacy Axel. The fade uh, into the past. As all the things I shall, uh, that is my uh, legacy. Alright. Legacy Ari. To uncover the greatest secrets of this world, for the good of all, that is my legacy. I don't know why I'm, he's British or whatever, but okay. Mira. <laughs> This means to shall it all from home. That is my legacy. Alright. Legacy Mai. The challenge, the limits of possibility, and to find what lies beyond them. This is my legacy. And Banjo. Legacy Banjo. My legacy? Ha <laughs> I think I lost it some time ago. I really should have tried to remember where I left it. Oh, all right, Banjo, all right. And the last, Legacy City. To stand above uh, life and the death itself. Uh, that is uh, my legacy. Yep, Bicob uh, so Bicobre in Twitch just said it should work now. And it does. Uh, the matchmaker works. I'm still in the queue. Hopefully, hopefully we can find, and that's it. We found the opponent, so let's quickly run, run to the arena. Let's go from the upper left corner this time. I'm not scared of those dragons. I will slay them all. Let's fight. Let's fight. Who's we're up against? This time we're up, ag up against City. All right, let's go. So this will be the last game of the stream. Let's try to win them all. So guys, so far we won all of the games during this stream. So let's keep it up. Let's switch the music to the in-game. And Hateman RG. Thank you so much, for, sir, for following. I hope you're enjoying yourself on the stream. So, I really dig this opening selection. Let's go, right. Pair of Jacks is a very cool tool as a defense. Songwriter, Tox, and maybe let's go for Blitz? Do I want Blitz? Am I afraid that I'm going to run out of the cards? I mean, I might. So, yeah, just to be safe, let's keep Blitz. Why not? All right, Mr. Akira. Can we win? Can we win? Let's see. Okay, you sir, are first to act, and he does not play any unit. All right, that's cool. Let's go. Cool. Welcome, o OC Hespera. Welcome in the Twitch chat. Uh. He says, this is the first thing I see on the stream. What do you mean? What do you mean? You mean my cosplay, my Sami cosplay? I hope you enjoy the haircut and everything. Mm. Damn, I won't be able to kill this guy with my yellow jack. So how should I approach this? Okay, let's use one of the yellow jacks. And let's develop Songwriter, because when Songwriter dies, he's still going to get me one uh, Songbeard with one power. So, even if he clears this guy, I will be able to kill the Soul Guide, before, because I will still have a unit on the board. So let's play this. Right, let's see, let's see.
Alright, so he's sacrificing his own unit to draw two cards. And Mr. OC has pair in the Twitch chat combining my name with Samia and says, Hello, Puzamia. Oh, they're running into arena part. It was the first thing you saw. Yeah, <laughs> it was genuinely hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I think it's quite funny too. Thank you, sir. All right, let's play Tox and Vile on myself. As you can see, I really using my health as a resource. So I'm not really scared about losing a lot of health early. Thank you, OC Hespera, for the kind words. Alright, that's that's very nice for him. He can zap my songbird, but... Ooh, wait. He decided... Oh, but both of my units survives now, so I'm not sure about this play, mister. But I don't have many units to play, but I can play Wayne Blade, though. So, 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 let's play Wayne Bait on this guy. And also what? Also what? Maybe just a rune? A rune. And I still have some, some mana to spend. So do I want to spend them all? I'm doing this. I have Blitz in my hand. You only live once. YOLO, that's what we do. We're going after him hard. Let's go. I mean, next turn, if he clears the board, next turn is kind of dicey. But at least I maybe can draw a metal card. So it's backstab, drone search, deep slice. So not great. I won't be able to spend a lot of mana. Let's see. That was a bit risky on my part, but... Hey, that's what we do here. That's what we do. Ooh, but look at this spell from the latest expansion. Searing Rage, destroy target enemy unit, do damage to your hero equal to its health. That's how you play with Samia. You, you use your health as your resource. So let's do that. Clear the space and we are actually one damage off. That's Seems to be a quick game, guys. Quick game, so maybe we'll have a time for one more game, actually. Because we played so quickly. So, yeah. We have time for one more game, for sure. Alright, this will not help you. Let's see. One more mana to go. You cannot deal with everything with one mana, I'm sure. So, I believe that's it. That's the game. Good game. Strahira. No, let's not deliver. Let's deliver hero against hero. The, le the le last blow. Alright, we did it. We are keeping our uh, winning strike alive. Alright, let's switch back to our background music. And let's cue our last game of the stream. OC has Pera says that bleeds into lethal here maybe. Yeah, but I didn't want to gamble. I don't think that's, that's uh, very good to gamble there. But OC has Pera, if you liked that run, that, uh, that run to the arena, I have another run to the arena for you, don't worry. Mr. Hateman RG says, I'm on queue, you might queue into me. All right, let's fight. Let's fight, let's do this. If that's the case, I close the stream so I don't snipe you. I mean, I don't mind Hateman uh, RG. You can watch if you want. I don't really mind. If it's going to be more fun to you to watch my stream while you play, I really don't mind it at all. You have my stamp of approval to do that. My blessing and everything. Also, Ossie Hespera, if you didn't see... Uh, like different clips from what I do, you can watch uh, the VOD. I have different clips from the edge of the sky, the high mountain. If you didn't see it, I recommend it. It's quite fun. Um, 
Did I... Wait, 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 did I... M okay, so... OC has parasites that I misspelled the title? Let me see... Let me see... But I have... I have it as... It, uh, look at... look at my Twitch board, guys. I see it as Discovery Beginner's Guide, and you're saying it's... Uh, constructed. Maybe it did not update? That's unfortunate, that's unfortunate. It's supposed to be Discovery, but sometimes for some reason it's not updating. All right. Hello says it is correct. Viewers had to refresh. That's strange, but it's supposed. It should be. It should be correct from the beginning. I believe I'm. I. I when I uh, pre uh, before I started my stream, I clicked done, so it should refresh and it, the stream should start with the correct uh, title. That's strange. That's really strange. All right, but never mind. Mm. And Hollow says, when you went live, I had the constructed episode two title. That's very, very strange. Okay, thank you, thank you for for no, uh, notifying me. Very weird. I'm I'm not sure, but it it might be Twitch issue actually. I I believe I did everything right. I'm not sure why why that's the case. Okay, guys, we need one more game. Who is going to be my opponent? Come on, guys, let's queue. Don't hide from me. Don't hide from me, fellas. Let's finish the stream on a high note, on a nice uh, game. That we're of course going to win, guys. Of course I'm going to win, I promise. I promise. Hopefully Holo will not create quickly an account and play against me to spoil my result, my unlosing streak. Let's wait a few more minutes. So we checked out uh, last time uh, the heroes. They are very cool, the legacy hero skins. All right, let's check out. We can also purchase stickers that you can use in game. All right, some of them un are unavail unavailable because people has to uh, add the liquidity for for them to be available. If you want to uh, understand what it means to add liquidity. Just uh, check it out, for example, on YouTube. There are very good, uh, very good tutorials what it means uh, to add liquidity to the pool. But some of them have the liquidity, and you can you can buy them. For some reason, Turtle GG is not displaying the image. Let me refresh. Let me see. Turtle, where are you? There you go. There you go. On this account, unfortunately, I don't own any stickers. Also, this sticker, this Gotta Go Fast sticker, was an exclusive sticker from the Gamescom event. Skyweaver also took part in the Gamescom event, and also I took part in it, so I was invited by uh, S uh, Skyweaver developers to join them to help out, and it was very, very cool, very fun. The Gamescom event took place in Germany, in, uh, in Köln. Right. Very cool city. Alright guys, I'm gonna wait a few more minutes. But if no one wants to play against me, I guess we're calling it the day. We're calling it the day and that's going to be it for the stream. Let's see. OC Hespera says, Bzzz is my favorite sticker but I don't have it. I, and can you... Ooh, we found an opponent! All right, so as especially for uh, for OC Hespera, let's do the last run into the arena. Let's see. Let's go for this for, for this version for the first one. 
Alright, look at me jumping around. I'm not gonna fall. I'm not gonna fall. And now we're speeding up. Let's charge. Let's charge into the arena. Inflict fear to the opponent. Let's go. And we're playing against Zeus 900. Let's go, baby. Alright. Against uh, Mr. Horik. And to, uh, to not wait for every game like this, you can download the assets before the game. So the game could start quicker. Alright, the last game of the stream. Let's switch the music to the in-game music. Alright. Unfortunately, we have only two units, which is not very uh, poggers, as you would say as a Twitch streamer. So, Anointed in Flame and... Maybe Searing Rage, or maybe Clubback. Let's go for club back. Yep. Let's go! Okay, last game. I have to win this. We're playing against Zeus from Brazil. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Well, when Jaco dies, he's going to... Ooh, look at this play, guys. So I'm going to put flames on my uh, my hero. Then I'm going to kill the Jaco. And look at the death effect. Both players draw and attach their lowest cost dark spell to their hero. And then he will just put the dark spell on my, on my hero. And I will be unflamed this way. And I'm going to ruin his mana crystal this way. And I have one more mana to spend, but do I want to Baneful Strike now? Not really, because I cannot use it really, because I already attacked with my hero. So that's a cool, cool play. So now for the rest of the game, I have Banner on my hero. Very nice, very nice. So let's attack uh, this Grimstone. And play bolt. Unfortunately, I was not able to clear the board. The Zomboid survived because of the death effect of Grimstone. Mephisto in the Twitch chat says a pro play. Of course. Of course. Alright, can we... Alright, now I can clear the board quite easily with my hero, so let's do that. Wait! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no 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 no! He played more units. Now what? Let's see, from cookbook I'm getting uh, 30 at 100%. Alright, interesting. Hmm. Alright, so let's do this mechanic. Let's do this. This also gives me... Uh, actually, never mind. Actually, never mind. Uh, let's go this way. This is a much better. This way I can... This way all of my units can survive. Look at this pro player here. Look at this. This is how it's done. Look at this board control. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. For some reason my opponent decided to root Cookbook and not Chain Golem. I'm not sure why. But okay. But okay. Let me see. So what do I want to do now? What do I want to do now? I could go into four attack for my hero, but do I want to do it? Ooh, I could do some fancy, fancy trick like this. Look, guys. So this banner, this banner, and also... And also, I'm going to unroot my cookbook with Chain Toss. So he can attack also. To be mana efficient, to deal more damage. Only pro plays on this stream. On this channel. 
and we are starting to dominate more and more. Ooh, this is this is a good play. He put seashore because of the sunset effect. This vapors will be overwritten by mana crystal. Very very well played from my opponent. He's showing very good understanding of what cards do. I I, I feel this guy is good. That was a very 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 well played. All right, let me see. Let me see. Hmm. So maybe this, sh uh, I mean, one damage from this and another banner from Ember Mask. I'm doing a lot of damage with banner, which is very, very cool. And you know what? I have still one mana. Let's heal a bit, shall we? Look at this 10 health swing, minus 5 plus 5. Let's go. This game is just a perfect example. How dominating you can be when playing perfectly. Let's uh, go. All right, and perfect clap back at the end. The shield will not stop it. And of course, we'll delivering the lethal with hero. Hero against hero. That's how it should be done. And that's it, guys. Final game of the stream also won. So we won how many? Seven here and I believe we played nine games and we won all nine. Let's go. Unlocked card, Mamba for four mana, sunrise effect, attach, fate. Very nice. And guys, that's it for today. That was my last game. Let's say parting words in the studio. See you guys in the studio. Bye bye. Back to my former self, one second transformations, that's what we do here on the channel. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow, no more beginners stuff, it's advanced concepts, conquest mode edition. So let's go. Tomorrow, remember, 3 p.m. Central European time. See you guys there and again. Thank you so much for watching me today. That's it. See you guys tomorrow.